Hayes and Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Boxing Boxing. Now, man, you know, Devin Haney has some choice words for Javante Tate Davis. You know, they call him Devin the Dream Haney, but now that he's being chained by Floyd Mayweather, they might as well call this guy Devin Money Haney. <laughs> Devin Money Haney has some choice words for Javante Tate Davis, man. He tells him to mind your own business and focus on Leo Santa Cruz, right? He says this and in the response to uh, Javante Tank Davis being upset and basically going off on everyone, right? Javante Tank Davis apparently went off on Floyd Mayweather and he's going off on even little bro, or big bro actually, Agent Broner, you know? And it's wild that Javante Tank Davis is basically going off anyone that has any ties with Floyd Mayweather. Man, he's not feeling it at all. He's going, he's gone rogue. And now, you know, Javante David Haynes saying, yo, direct your anger toward your opponent, man. You got, you got a fight coming up. And you're being distracted. Focus. Focus, my man. You got to get past this guy if you want to get me. You can't be taking L's and he want to fight me. So, you know, De De Devin Haney's actually being really courteous and telling him, focus on the, on the guy in front of you. You know, wow. What 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 gamesmanship for Devin the Money Haney. He did, wow, what a man. You know, Javante Tank Davis needs to do, he needs to really focus on uh, Leo Santa Cruz, though, man. Leo Santa Cruz is a dangerous fighter. Um, when he wants, Leo Santa Cruz can throw a lot of punches around, and he's he's just aggressive. You know, the guy is, is the marquee of Mexican style. Come forward, aggressive, but he can box as well, which makes him dangerous. He's like the new age Mexican style. He can apply smart pressure, and then he can box on his back foot when he wants to, right? If you actually watch Abner Marez versus Leo Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz turned up when he had to, and then he boxed when he had to. You know, he, he, said he fought toe-to-toe -to -toe when he had to, and then he felt like a butterfly steam like a baby he had to. You know, Leo Santa Cruz is being slept on in his fight. And with Javante Tate Davis, if he was asleep before then, he's definitely awake now because he has something to prove now. You know, I think uh, Javante Tate Davis is probably on cruise mode for a while in his career because there's no one really uh, challenging the guy, at least as far as the young cats go. You know, the only person that people really thought that had a really good chance against Javante Tank Davis was like a Vasyl Lomachenko. And he's like a super veteran, you know, a million wins in the amateurs. And he has like a some mythical, you know, win record and amateur record that basically pits him above most of these elite level fighters in, in boxing today. At least that's what the media tells you, you know. So but but as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as young cats go, Javante Tank Davis has the best resume, and I think he was letting that get to his head. You know, he's letting that get to his head. Because whether you like Javante Tank Davis or not, you know, Devin Haney doesn't have those uh, legends on his resume like Javante Tank Davis. Neither does Ryan Garcia or Tia Fuma Lopez. You know, uh, Javante Tank Davis has uh, that marquee win, Yugus Gamboa. You know, so we're going to see how this whole thing unfolds. And then, you know, Jose, Jose Pajaza and god willing soon to be leo santa cruz so we're gonna see how javante take davis takes this man about this whole shots fired by De devin uh money haney you know the, the the you know the cash cow devin haney you know he's talking trash now he's taking you know he's taking a you know a playbook out of floyd mayweather's playbook because floyd's teaching him you know so we're gonna see how this whole thing unfolds man devin haney he's definitely gonna have a big fight to rival uh javante take davis because devin Devin Haney, he's talking trash, and he's going to have a big fight coming up, definitely, to off-put the Javante Tank Davis, Leo Santa Cruz fight. He's going to have to, right? If not, Javante Tank Davis is going to come up with too much momentum if he gets past Leo Santa Cruz. Now, Leo Santa Cruz is a great fighter. I can't pay anything past the guy, but if he does, Javante Tank Davis is going to be on top, and Devin Haney is going to really have to do something big to uh, get past Javante Tank Davis as far as fame and, and and the media attention he's gonna get for his leo santa cruz fight you know this fight uh javante tank davis is is not a scary kind of fighter i expect this fight to probably happen in a, a major uh metropolitan area probably they're gonna give leo santa cruz the advantage in this fight to make it more interesting i'm guessing this fight will be in la i'm guessing this fight is gonna be in maybe diego san diego so somewhere where there's like a heavy latino population to give Leo Santa Cruz uh, the momentum, you know? I doubt Leo Santa Cruz is gonna go to Detroit or ATL, it's not gonna happen. You know, chances are happening. Um, Javante T. Davis is already a massive overdog in that fight. He's already looked at as the, the, the beast from the East, you know? 
I, I really doubt they're gonna give him another uh, big hedge and an advantage like fighting in, in basically a, a territory where he has an immense advantage and they're probably gonna give Leo Santa Cruz that part at least. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out, man. I'm still really excited uh, about this um, Leo Santa Cruz trying to take Davis fight. Leo Santa Cruz has a phenomenal chin, nervous stops. So we're gonna see how this whole thing gets played out, man. But anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobus Empire. Peace.